Yo, 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 what is up, folks? NYKF31 here, NCAA14 Dynasty. Your Dynasty mode team will be the Idaho Vandals. I'm not going to upload my Notre Dame Dynasty. I'm still playing it, but, you know, when you're a powerhouse team, what fun is that? I'll still upload from some games from time to time. I'm starting to get to the point where I'm, I'm going to, where it's getting hard to replace people. But still, you know, the team is just stacked. It's too deep. We're just mowing over people and, you know, winning championships and all that good stuff. So it'd be much more fun to do the grind. So we're going to go with Idaho. They're an independent. They're not in a, co they're not in a conference. That would be kind of weird. Well, not really. I mean, hell, Notre Dame's not in a conference. But, you know, <laughs> when you're an independent at Notre Dame, it's a heck of a lot different than being an independent at Idaho. And, you know, I like their colors. I like their uniforms. I like the uh, quirky little stadium they play in, the Kibbe Dome. So if you're going to be a quirky team playing in a quirky stadium, you got to play a fun style. So we're going to be running the um, Chip Kelly, the Oregon Ducks offense. And, of course, we'll be playing 3-3-5 on defense. Let's take a look at the roster. It's what you'd expect from a team this low. Got some interesting pieces here. Mason Petrino, the senior, will be starting. Got a redshirt freshman here. Who I'm curious to see how he will develop. I'm not going to play him. He's going to redshirt this year. He's a little bit faster than um, Petrino is. Not much of a thrower. Neither of them guy's a thrower. But he's my starter is pretty athletic. Petrino is pretty athletic for, you know, what he is. 71 speed, 89 acceleration. 73 elusiveness, 73 safe arm, 79 spin, 79 juke. You know, for what the program is, you could do a whole heck of a lot worse. Going to start true freshman Kian Martinez at running back. I'm not starting a 74 speed tailback. It's just not going to happen. Sorry, buddy. Khalil Forehand. We'll get some burn, too. As a matter of fact, he's going to back him up. 94 acceleration with 87 speed. He's got some giddy up. Not much in the way. 84 spin move, 84 shoot move. He has 48 carrying. My God. I might have to rethink that, but whatever. We're building here. Fullbacks aren't people, really. I mean, got tight ends playing fullback. Receivers are eh. Gonna take a page of the Coach Mackey book and put our best receiver here in the slot. As you can see, there's not a whole heck of a lot of speed here at all. Decent after the catch attributes here as far as spin and juke. But you know, not bad route running out of uh, Cotton and Haywood. But you know, they're pretty trash. Pretty trash all the way around. Tight end's not a bad player. 77 speed. 80 trucking. 80 stiff arm. Catching Travis, nothing to, nothing to write home about. Catching stash and route running aren't very good at all. But, you know, again, what can you do? Line is hideous. Got a true freshman, 70 overall, left tackle. 64 overall guard. Yeah, I thought that'd be a lot worse, to be honest with you. You know, center's not terrible. He's not bad. Of course he'd be a senior. And he's not awful. Could be worse. Got a couple of interesting players on the defensive line. Noah Ellis, 6'4", 347 pounds, 91 strength. He's a plugger. I mean, he's got 53 speed. So he's not going to be screaming off the edge <laughs> in edge rush situations, but he's got 91 power move and 91 block shed. My God, okay. That's a nice guy to have, and he's just a redshirt sophomore, so okay. I'll take that. Coyote Rufai. Again, not the most athletic guy in the world. 
He's got an 83 power move with 83 block shed. That's not too bad at all. 88 block shed with, with Rashawn Crawford at the nose, an 88 power move. Joda Kim with 92 power move and 92 block shed. You know, they're, they're, they're pluggers up there, but as far as pass rush goes, don't have a whole heck of a lot of it as far as speed goes. Robert Miller at one linebacker spot. He's a coverage backer all the way, 73 zone coverage. Not very athletic, though. You know, linebacker, same deal. I mean, just middling athleticism. 78 tackle, 72 block shed. You know, good solid zone coverage backers for the level of team this is. Charles Akanu is my best edge rushing backer. And Coleman Johnson, true freshman. So they'll likely play defensive end as some sub package spots. Corners, kind of slow. Not bad agility. Coverage skills are not disgustingly bad, to be honest with you. 86, 83, 86, 78, 88, 83. He's not very physical, but these two guys can press a little bit. Safeties are just kind of mediocre. 75 zone coverage there. Uh, Devonta Ginwright, 80 overall. Of course, he'd be a senior, just my luck. And, you know, in a 3 5 stack, you're starting two safeties, and neither guy's that good. Not that good at all. So it is what it is. Cade Coffey doing double duty, kicking and punting. And there you go. As far as the schedule goes, we have two road games at North Texas and then at Wyoming. Open up at home against Northern Illinois. Washington State is our current only ranked team on the schedule. Temple, Fresno State. At Arkansas State, then we have at Ole Miss. So this stretch here is going to be pretty difficult, it looks like. Texas State, Old Dominion, those are winnable games. At Florida State, at New Mexico State to close out the season. So these two games are winnable. This game is winnable. Texas State is winnable. Old Dominion is as well. As is New Mexico State. We'll see if we can get to six wins. That'd be a heck of a season. See if we can get to six wins and bowl eligible. Preseason coaches poll. No surprises here. Clemson, Bama, Georgia, Oklahoma, Ohio State, LSU, Michigan, Florida, Notre Dame, Texas, Oregon, A&M, Washington, Utah, Penn State, Auburn, UCF, Michigan State, Wisconsin, Iowa, Iowa State, Syracuse, Washington State, Nebraska, Stanford. Virginia, Miami, Okie State, Missouri, Boise State receiving votes on the fringes. So let's go. Let's get it done. See what we can do. All right, here we go. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Mean, green, and North Texas will need to show a little meanness, a little toughness to score an important home victory today. Warm-ups are just wrapping up in Denton as we are almost set. For Ew. Thank you for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half.
Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. All right, here we go. We're just about set to get underway. And with that, we kick off our season. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 25. Idaho's looking to start a new tradition. They got a new leading man on the way here. I think, you know, players get butterflies. I guarantee this new coach has some, too. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. The 33 yard line. Martinez gets eight yards on the field. Plenty of that. That makes it second and two. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Ah, uh, catch the ball, buddy. Come on. Oh, had it. Come on, offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. So let's see what the offense can do as they come. All right, let's see what we got, defense. There's a strike complete. He gets hit out of bounds right around the 24 yard line. And tempo of their own. And I think it confused the offensive line. Coyote Rufai is the first sack of the season. For the defensive lineman, and that time the lineman got to the quarterback and came up with a sack. All right, let's get him off the field here. Let's get up a first down. Clean press break. Punch it into the end zone on this drive. Another screen. Oh, big. Ah, ah. That's too bad. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. Wow. And they make the stop, the 39 yard line. They're just marching it right down the field, aren't they? They come out on an empty backfield. He's scrambling. There we go. 
down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Here's where you got to be able to play press man. They've looked good so far on third down. Shrink windows and get them off the field. Fires quickly and he's got it. Wow. Got ripped there. Okay. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really Come on, I got to answer. Which is a truly underrated quality these days. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That brings him second in five. All right, should be nice here. Wow, they're really bad aligned. Around the 49-yard line. Oof, he got smacked. Where are we on the field? I might go for this. Get a hand on the football by the defense. I will kick it. You see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. Kick is up. It's good. Has made any adjustments after giving up the touchdown last round. This defense made some adjustments on the side. All right, come on, D. I do a better job than the previous drive. They need to at least be able to slow it down. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. Through five, the second tackle for a loss got an assist there. Jesus. These dudes are so bad. <laughs> They're just doing whatever the heck they want, aren't they? Come on, get him, get him, get him. That was a quick quarter. And he's hit immediately. We break up nothing. North Texas is up by four. Nor do we tackle. Man, it's going to be a long year if this keeps up. There we go. But make the tackle. Could have been a loss in the backfield. Yeah. 
He's going left. Incomplete. There we go. Stand up for yourselves. Jeez. Oh, no, no, no. We're spying. We're spying. We're spying. Let's go, D. Stand up for yourself. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. All right, come on. There we go. That's a big play. That's the kind of range he did that. He did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down. All right, not a burner, but a respectable. Nice. Well spaced, smoothly run. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Ah. Let's go. Got him. If you're accurate. But you're not. It's up and it's puts the uprights. Settle for another three. Is up one. Mm, did he catch that? No, he does not. Let's go. I think he came down with it. I don't think he did. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. So the referee is going to take a look at several. Mm, uh, I wonder what the game will call that. I've seen that go either way. Well, they get it right after the review. They call it a catch. Ah, uh, that's disappointing. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. All right, come on, gents. Did you catch that? Wow. Wow. We are just not putting up much resistance at all, are we? There we go. He scrambled. The ten. He's taken down at the eight yard line. All right, come on, hold the door. Or don't. Come on, stop, stop, stop. I got a couple of house rules I use against the CPU. I stay on one guy, you know, no, I, I just run a defensive plays as is. Otherwise, you can just shut down the CPU just very, very easily. North Texas, up a point. And we hold. Let's go. You know, let the player personnel and the play calling show what the team can do in a user for a CPU environment. I mean, it's fourth down. This is not mutt head to head or online user CFM. You're playing a freaking machine. The kick is up. 
And you gotta think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Wow. All righty. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship to waste possessions. I would give the ball right back up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good job, dudes. There we go. Stand up for yourself. Satchel Escalante. That's how you play safety in the 3-3-5 stack, baby. Oof, barely got that off. Got that off right when I was getting hit. Oop, got a press break. And a drop. Oh. Alright, that dig route's working pretty nice. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to... Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, talent. Talent. Give me some talent. Ah, crap. Want to get a timeout there quickly if I could, but not quite. Believe it or not, folks, it's still a 10-6, North Texas. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. And, and the offense on the other side. We're hanging in there pretty good. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football. Play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Here we go. There we go. Get it done. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. Let's go. Let's take the lead and not look back. Come on, boys. Well, I'm just gash you out the middle. Either or. Wow. 
gets out of bounds. The quarterback did an excellent job of recognizing the Mike linebacker on the blitz. He hung in there, delivered the pass, and his receiver made a good catch to move the sticks. There we go. Ah, they're gonna screen. And they're short. What will they do? They're gonna go for it. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. No, oh, crap. This Rico Bussy dude is bussing us up. Another screen. Sit. No. No. Oh, every time they've played press coverage, they've gotten ripped. Six yard line. It's second down. Oh, they're bringing some noise here, it looks like. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Oh, I had a defensive lineman dropping back there, caught in traffic on him. 39-yard line. Five wide. The read was a little muddy. Scrambling around. Go, 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 go. Fight, fight, go, go. Mason Petrino getting it down with his legs. Nothing was there. Playing like a homeless man's Marcus Mariota. Ah, I thought that might pop. And that's it for quarter number three. All right, to the fourth quarter we go. Seventeen thirteen, Bean Green. Damn it, you sissies. And the way this game has been played and how tight it's been, every defensive stop will be huge. I'm gonna go for it here. We're kind of in no man's land, I think. Uh, I might be able to kick a field goal here, but why kick a field goal near the underdog? Damn it. And so now the ball's turned over. Ah. This defense looks like that was my fault. That was my fault. I did not execute that play very well. And they make the stop right around the 42 yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Okay, I need to hold strong here. Tackle him, tackle him. Uh. All right, big third down this. And a drop, oh my gosh. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's 
go! Michael Noyle having a day. Oh, we had numbers. Oh, wow. Ah. All right, gonna go for it again. Got him. Big, big, big. Let's go. Go, 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 push! Let's go! Alright, let's make it happen, D. Stand up. Come on, let's go! Way to set that edge! Robert Miller, six tackles, three for a loss. Oops, screen, 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 screen. He screwed it, he, he screwed it up, he screwed it up! Get the ball! Oh! He freaked out. Almost got a positive gain out of it, to be honest with you. Alright, they decide to punt and play defense. And you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Gains his way to midfield. He's had no problem finding running room to play in this game. All right, come on. Just give me a yard. They'll bring him down at the 47 yard line. All right. We can't need all the way out with the clock stop, but we can come close. Holds a field goal lead. And that will do it. Now we can just knee it out and get our first W. So we pulled that out. Petrino missed a lot of throws. Could have had an INT on that uh, corner out, but thank God it, you know, was dropped. And that other throw that could have been INT as well. But yeah, he's not very accurate. Martinez. Buck 22 with a touchdown. Haywood and Cotton were all right. Noyle had the big plays in the passing game. And Ellis, as we saw, got player of the game. Hoover with five tackles and a sack off a scramble. He's a corner. I don't blitz my corners hardly ever. And Rufai with a sack. So, yeah, this team is going to be an adventure to play with. But we got W number one. That's all that matters. So stay tuned for more Idaho Vandals football. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you all later.